So if you're watching this channel, I'm sure that you're aware that OpenAI released a GPT 4.5 a few days ago, and I haven't talked about it yet on this channel. I like to wait a few days for these things. Like I'm not, uh, I don't want to like be an influencer in that camp, right? It's not my MO or my agenda. I don't want to like pop things out. Like, oh, here's this hype, you know, release, or, or here's this uh, stochastic parrot of this uh, news release, uh, et cetera. I like to, you know, like actually present something that is meaningful um, and beyond just uh, here's some news that someone else created, right? Uh, and then so within that, I do have a lot of thoughts overall about the GPT 4.5 model. Uh, it's been a few days and so I'll dive into them very specifically. Like off the top, the biggest one that I wanna say, like the one that I've been sitting on for a few days now is that like, if I released this research paper, if any other company released like this model card for like this research paper, uh, or model card for this model, like it would be trashed to, to kingdom come. Like uh, it would be ignored, it would be trashed, like no one would, would look at it, right? Like, first of all, they're only benchmarking based off of themselves. So like they're benchmarking 4.0 versus 0.1 compared to 4.5. Like uh, there's a very specific reasons why they're only benchmarking against themselves on this data set, right? Uh, on this uh, paper. So that's the very first thing that you should look at within this. They're charging you two times more than uh, like any other model that is on the planet. <laughs> And they're only benchmarking against themselves. I wonder why that is, because it's not going to show anywhere near 2x performance, even compared to these models, which they're benchmarking themselves against, right? Secondarily, even with these benchmarks and the things that they're benchmarking themselves against, uh, these are like the most uh, made up benchmarks overall that you could possibly think of. Like this is a 31 page uh, paper that tells you absolutely nothing once you read through it, right? It's a 31 page marketing advertisement for the model flat out. Like. Uh, it, the the quality of this compared to like say for example the deep seek paper as a big example is night and day right you can see it crystal clear like and and, and uh, like for some reason people just have this mindset that a corporation like OpenAI or Microsoft etc is going to put out better quality research better quality models etc than than all of these other people uh, as you're seeing time and time again and that is not true within this arena because you can't differentiate yourself like. Uh, everyone has the same limit of physics involved with this, within this. If you can unify quantum and relativistic physics, then you can advance AI more than anyone else on the planet right now. So uh, if you are in that camp and, and you can actually do that and you, like, you can prove it out, you will, you, you're 100% further ahead than anyone else. Where uh, anyone else is playing around within these things is the same exact limitations that everyone else has, and they're called the limitations of physics uh, and mathematics. And then uh, within the limitations of physics and mathematics, we come into the core problem here, right? Core problem. There's been a lot of people that have been saying this, and and so you have like uh, two competing camps. Let's say for the last few years, right? You've got. Uh, your corporations led by Sam Altman on one end saying that uh, scaling is that you can scale up as far as you can go. Like, uh, like uh, so Sam Altman, Elon Musk, people that uh, don't actually know about technology. And then you've got uh, like um, Gary Marcus, uh, Jan LeCun, uh, like uh, the people that actually know about the technology saying, hey, those aren't the, like, uh, tr ignore transformers, bro. <laughs> it, it's not going to like, don't waste your money on transformers. Um, I mean, so if it's between Elon Musk and Sam Altman or Jan LeCun on and, and for research, like and, and like Jeffrey Hinton uh, and Gary Marcus, uh, uh, Stephen Wolfram, which one are you going to choose? Like, like which camp when when it comes to like the the actual mathematics of this? Like, if you're choosing the, the Elon Musk and the Sam Altman camp in that instance, I feel bad for like you're like I mean, uh, I can't stop you from wasting your money in that instance, right? Like, like you're going to do whatever you want. Uh, in that particular instance, but what we can see, like proving out now, right? Like uh, the a lesson that I have had to learn the hard way is that the wheels of justice turn slowly, and they do turn, right? They turn, they they crank and they turn, but they turn slow, and it's like a justice isn't always uh, as quick as people want it to be, and then so opportunistic people often get in that, right? And they they throw themselves in there because uh, they see the wheels turning slowly. And they think that the wheel won't fully turn. And then, and then when the wheel finally fully turns and then comes around and then that, that particular system is exposed, like they don't have anywhere left to go. <laughs> and that's where we're at at the moment with like GPT 4.5. Uh, 
I'll, I'll call it, I mean, every single model in this generation, right? So we've got um, GPT 4.5, um, Claude 3.7, and Grok 3. Uh, or Grok, yeah, Grok 3. And then all of them are uh, in the same boat, right? Where, which is that they're, they're better than other models. Let's say like 10% better than other models. But every single one of those models that I've listed, every single one of the manufacturers of them has flat out stated that they have invested far more uh, into training of those models than they did for any previous model. Like, uh, and none of them will release the exact figures, but you have to assume that it's magnitudes and magnitudes and magnitudes more. And they're all coming to uh, the same 10% gain. They uh, have essentially lit in, let's say trillions of dollars on fire. And uh, for 10% gain is, is what we're here with, right? And I have been on my channel stating this for, for a long time now, for over a year, that like all of these same things, right? And it's a very, very simple equation. Uh, Transformers is mathematically flawed. I don't know what else to tell you within that, right? I, like uh, it, it, You can't scale it up because like if you understand the flaws within Transformers, you realize like so within any system you have scaling limitations, right? Uh, and I can tell you that about any IT system, and, and people would understand that. And then for some reason, people think that AI is immune to that, whereas AI is actually much more vulnerable to that because the transformer architecture has some of those things built into it. Uh, for example, quadratic scaling within the attention mechanism is something that is built into the transformer model itself, and you can't get away from that, right? Like, that stuff, like, that's problem number one. And like not a single person on the planet can mathematically make that go away. With the transformer architecture, the higher that you scale it up, the attention mechanism scales up compute ne the compute necessary uh, in order to run it, and that scales quadratically. That means that if you go from like a 500 million parameter model to a 1 billion parameter model, it's four times, it's four hex to do it, not not like 100% uh, like increase, a 400% increase in order to get an uh, incremental amount of performance, right? And then that, that compounds and compounds and compounds, and then that's what we're seeing now. And then so they essentially threw, uh, let's say, uh, enough uh, power that would power a small country uh, in, into GPT 4.5, and it got 10% increase uh, as opposed to uh, 4 well, when it was a small city. So small city compared to small country, they're not getting much gain, uh, and they, they just wasted about a trillion bucks. Like, I mean, that's the bottom line, right? And then so uh, within all of that, I've, there's been people that have been telling you this over and over and over again. And if you dive into the research of it, it doesn't lie, right? Like, I mean, I don't know, like it's uh, only people, the only people in my mind that are still being like uh, fooled by these things are people that are just flat out lazy at this point. Like if you're not lazy within it, like it, you're not just believing hype, uh, it's very simple to see which side of this equation is true, right? Which which one is coming out? Like, I mean, we can look at, again, look at real world examples. I, when when people make up arguments or, or want to debate things, I always look at the real world. So uh, don't pay attention to what I'm saying. Like, like Use GPT 4.5 for yourself. Look at the benchmarks of GPT 4.5 for yourself. Look at this research paper for yourself, right? That's what I'm trying to lay out for you within these things. Don't just take my word for it. You know, don't just take anyone's word for it. Go through, do it yourself, and then what you'll find is uh, all of this checks out, right? That that uh, Transformers is not the way forward. And then so, like, within that, what is the way forward? I can give you my flat-out honest guess. My flat-out, my best guess at the moment as to the way forward. I could be 100% wrong within this. I think it's a combination of hyperdimensional computing, swarm algorithms, and genetic algorithms. Uh, and then there's a very specific reason why I've open-sourced the heck out of every single aspect around that, right? And every single pipeline around that. And I feel very confident at this point. Like, uh, it's funny to me. I laugh at it every single time, right? Like these, uh, I, I see it a lot where these patent trolls, they're coming in and they're, they're, they have so much patented regarding the Transformers architecture at this point that it isn't even funny, right? Uh, and then, but they like, uh, okay, you, you patented out uh, an architecture that like it, we can see we're already reaching the end of the uh, end of the road for and if you actually understand how it works, uh, it, it is very mathematically flawed. Like Transformers as an architecture was built in 2017, and it was built specifically for NLP tasks. Like, I, I mean, that's what it was, right? It was never built to, and it was built to predict tokens in a sequence. That's the, that's what it does. What it does from there and since then has been enhancements to the architecture itself, but they still have the base limitations, right? Like, if I build a uh, 
if I build a tricycle and then we turn it into a car, it still has like the framework of a tricycle, right? That doesn't go away. Like you can't like, uh, like, well, okay, it's a car, sure. But like, it, like the underlying framework is still a tricycle. Like there's still tricycle parts on there. <laughs> and, and, and we will always be restricted by the tricycle parts unless we get rid of the tricycle framework. That's the bottom line. And, and like uh, investors, uh, venture capitalists, things like that, they hate that. Right, because that's instability. Uh, that's work. That's research into like, well, well like what what is actually uh, the good technology here, right? Not just like, oh, if I if I um, scale it up faster than anyone, if I just put like uh, break things and move fast, right? That's so that's what I love about this. Like, uh, so our entire economy, for like twenty years has built, been built on like break things and move fast, right? Like that's and that's the approach, and everyone thinks that that, that works, and then so they're they're throwing this at AI, and then they they like. Uh, Break things, move fast, and uh, evaporate your money. <laughs> that's that's uh, how that goes, right? And then th that's what we're seeing uh, within this. Like, the trends don't lie, right? Like, I mean, I put my money where my mouth is, right? Uh, if I were invested in transformers, like I would be telling you, <laughs> I invested in transformers uh, from jump. I haven't invested a singular dollar of my own money into transformers. I've taken people's money for for investing in transformers. Sure, like if you want to pay me money to build out a transformers model for you, I'll do it all day long. I'll tell you up front that you shouldn't be doing it. But I mean, if you want to build the model, <laughs> let's go, right? Uh, and uh, like that's how I tell people within this, and that's how I've been operating within this for two years, and that's why I can I'm so confident about these things, right? Because people are still willing to give me their money even afterwards. I'm like, like don't do that. Like uh, I wouldn't listen to Sam Altman. Uh, they're, they're, they're lying to you. Uh, you're not gonna like the end result. But uh, I mean, if you want to pay me to waste, you, it's your money, bro. Like, and then they go through, and, and that's what happens. Uh, and so. While that is that is becoming less and less, right? And I think we'll like my hope is is that by the time we get to GPT five, which will essentially be a huge disappointment because there's no way that they're going to scale it past four point five at this point. My assumption is like uh, if they threw like essentially like um, enough compute and GPU and uh, energy at it, let's say that the, like the equivalent of uh, like Thailand, <laughs> then like uh, they're not gonna like they're not gonna, gonna get past that. Like they, they're, it's it's it, GPT. 4.5 is the limit uh, and then so there you go uh, we're, we, we have reached the limits as far as transformers architecture i'm calling it here gpt5 will be a flat out bust compared to 4.5 uh, and i think that like um this research this model the fact that they're charging you 2x for the model up front like they realize it right like i think that like their whole entire pricing structure is is a pure cash grab like they know that they're just they're ripping people off at this point for uh, the max amount of money that they can possibly get. That's the only reason for the pricing structure behind it. But so anyway, my thoughts on OpenAI GPT 4.5. I'm sure it's completely different than the uh, like the influencers out there. Like oh GPT 4.5, here we go. Uh, but so that's my thoughts on it. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.